start with is called 21s. Call 21s, take, take the bar, come up halfway seven times. And then you go, go up and come down halfway seven times. And then you do the whole thing seven times. Alright? So I'm gonna go through the whole thing. That I go all the way up and come halfway down seven times. And I go through the full range of motion seven times. Between that, you want to rest 90 seconds to three sets, all right? 90, rest 90 seconds in between each. All right, so next exercise, we're going to do seated bicep curls. Sit down. Now, this is a little, going to be a little different. So bring one up, and then you keep it there until the other one's up, and then bring it down. Most of the time, you see, most of the time when you do a bicep curl, you hold it at the bottom, and then it rests. See, I don't want that. I don't want the rest. I want you to bring it up. Bang. And that way the biceps, both biceps are always working instead of letting one rest at the bottom. Kind of the opposite of the way it's usually done. Make sure you turn, come up, and then. Because your bicep is responsible for turning your wrist. So you want to make sure it's working that. Get, do that you can't do no more. Rest 90 seconds, then do the next set. Do a total of three seconds. All right, last bicep exercise, reverse curls. See, traditionally when you do a curl, you grab it like this and lift it. Reverse curls, it's the name, grab it, underhand, and bring it up. It's like a regular curl, but it works the biceps differently. You try it, you feel like something different. You come down slow, control it coming down. Don't swing your elbows up like that, that's cheap. Just bring it right up, keep your elbows stationary. Don't swing your back, keep your back stationary. As many of those you can do. Rest 90 seconds for the next set. You do a total of three sets, all right? And then you're done with the whole workout, man. Enjoy.